Good morning. Today I want to challenge you, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, on the second letter that Paul wrote to the Thessalonians. I'd like you to follow with me. First, let me just say that I'm not a pastor. I am not a missionary. I'm just a fellow believer in Christ, longing for the return of my Savior to take me home. So with that being said, if you'd follow with me, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, he says, Paul, this is Paul writing to the church of Thessalon the Thessalonians, essentially um, trying to give them peace about the message that was permeating the church at the time. There was a message being taught that the rapture had already come and that people had missed it. And so Paul, trying to ease the fearfulness that was coming out of the church, basically said this. He said, now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, that being gathered to him was referring to the rapture, he says, We ask you, brothers, not to be easily upset in mind or troubled, either by a spirit or by a message, or by a letter, as if from us, alleging that the day of the Lord has come. He continues to say, verse 3, Don't let anyone deceive you in any way. For that day, don't let anyone deceive you. I'll reiterate that. For that day will not come. He's talking about, again, the rapture, still on the same train of thought here. Will not come unless the apostasy comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed. The son of destruction. Who is this son of destruction? He continues on verse 4. He said, he, basically, the man of destruction is a man who will, quote, he opposes and exalts himself above every so called God or object of worship, so that he sits in God's sanctuary, publicizing that he himself is God. So, with that being said, basically what Paul is saying is, hey, church, he didn't miss the rapture. Why? Because the man of lawlessness has not been revealed. And guess what? If he had been, that would be a different story, but he hasn't been. You... The Antichrist has not been revealed yet, so therefore, the rapture can't have happened. <sighs> Take a moment and think about that for a second, okay? What does that mean? Really, I mean, take a moment and process. Read that over again. Think about it. Meditate on it. What has the church been telling you? <laughs> the church has been telling you what? That... The Antichrist won't, I mean, how many times have you heard it? The Antichrist will not reveal himself until after we're gone. That's not what this says. And just, let me just clarify some one other thing too. In the mindset of the man of lawlessness, it's not the Antichrist spirit. And the reason I can say that with a fact is because Paul specifically said many times that the spirit of the Antichrist was already in the world. If he was trying to give peace to his fellow believers in the church of the Thessalonians, if he was trying to give them peace by saying that, hey, the rapture is not going to happen until the spirit of the Antichrist comes, right? They'd have no peace because he said the spirit of the Antichrist is already in the world. So the only thing that makes sense for that to say is exactly what it says. The rapture won't come. The gathering of us being gathered to Jesus Christ won't come until the man of lawlessness, which is the Antichrist, read Daniel, read Matthew chapter 24, read Revelation. He won't be revealed until when? When will, will the rapture happen once the man of lawlessness is revealed? So, on that thought, God bless, and I hope that this clarifies some things. I hope that, I know a lot of people are going to go and find teachers to satisfy their itching ears and try to disprove what's clearly white and black. <laughs> um, the Bible says it's going to happen. I just pray that you have the discernment to be able to see that sometimes when the Bible says it's white, it's white, and when the Bible says it's black, it's black. 
All right, God bless. Love you guys.